Hey guys, Bantu Divide here, and today I'm going to show you how to make Lane 8 Atlas's pluck in Serum. And it sounds like this. Okay, so let's just start off by making a new MIDI channel, Control Shift T, and uh, we will open up Serum. And this is actually an FM sound. So what I was doing is modulating two triangle waves together. Um, so let's just start out by setting these both to triangle waves. And that's in basic shapes. So both of these are basic shapes. And we set those to triangle waves. And then we turn down the level of B and we go FM from B and then turn up that FM amount. Um, and I'm just going to copy the MIDI from here. If you want to see the MIDI and copy it, you can just pause the video and copy this. And then paste that down there. And this is what our sound currently sounds like. Okay. So I'm just going to basically copy the patch um, as I see it here so that it doesn't come out sounding any differently from the example. Um, yeah, so we've got FM from B and I set that I think to about 56%. And then this one's up an octave. All right, um, and then we've got a filter enabled set to MG low 18, and that is also filtering out the noise oscillator, which we haven't enabled yet, but we will do that. And uh, this cutoff is set to 290 hertz. So 280 is probably fine. And then we've just got an envelope two set to yeah around 400 milliseconds and that's just making it pluck a bit so we've already got like the the bass for the sound okay so let's just enable the bright white noise And I'm going to turn down the level and just assign envelope 2 to it. Turn that up. Okay, and then I think that's pretty much it. I think envelope 1, yeah, envelope 1 is also a bit of a plucky, sound, plucky shape. And we just turn the master up. Okay, and then there's nothing in the effects. That's pretty much, you know, the basic sound. Okay, so that's it for Serum. Now, uh, next thing I did was add some Echo Boy for delays. A really fast 32 note ping pong delay. All right, so just set that to 32 and set to ping pong. Just turn down the dry, the, the wet, and turn up the low cut a bit. Okay, and then I just added some Valhalla Room. I think I had it about 13%. So EQ'd the sound a little bit, so taken out some of the sub from it. As you can see, it's quite, you know, muddy down there. Don't even need any of that sound. So let's remove some of that. And then a little dip around here. 
just taking out some of that range. Scooping some of the mids. Okay, and then the last thing I noticed was that there was a bit of saturation on the sound to give it some grit. Yeah, if you listen to the original, you'll be able to hear it. So I did that on a return track so that I could EQ it separately and just mix in the volume as much as I wanted. So insert return track. And now I'm just going to copy this EQ8 um, to this return. And the saturator, I'm just going to copy it over here. Okay, so you can see all I did was put the drive up to 22.9. The output is minus 22. So let's just hear how it sounds um, on these settings. So I'm just going to mix it in slowly, and that's to the third one. So. Um, I like that, but I, th I felt like uh, his had a bit more grit to it and a bit less like mid rangey sound. So I just EQ'd the sound that was going into the saturator. So all I've done is just boost that a little bit and then cut that out. Um, and how that works, if I just copy this and turn it off, is if you take an EQ before a saturator and you basically drive any one of these frequencies into the saturation into the saturator, it'll sound different. So basically it's distorting any peak. So if ever you put saturation on a sound and it doesn't sound how you expect it to, just try playing with an EQ before that. And you get the, the desired sound quite easily that way. Okay, and there we go. That's that's the sound. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something, and I'll catch you in the next one.